Welcome back to the next part of the free height map tutorial series. We are now on to the 2K height map and this is going to be a much quicker video just so we can get through these um, and you'll be able to just pause the video to see the settings and stuff like that. So without further ado, what we're going to do is jump straight into landscape mode and that brings us into here. I have the well partition tab open as well so that we can see if our uh, stuff works properly. You can see I've actually got my old one uh, showing which is not accurate so I'm just going to reopen the world partition view. I don't know why that's still showing, that's pretty strange but um, ignore that, it, yours will be blank essentially. So what we're going to do for our setup is go into landscape mode, manage, create new and then you are greeted with these settings. So for a 2K, um, as uh, suggested by Epic, we are going to change the sections per component to 2x2. Two two. We are then going to change the number of components to 16 by 16 And that gives us our 2K or 2017 by 2017 resolution with a total amount of components of 256. Now in order to get our four regions as I mentioned in the previous videos that's kind of what I want to aim to get for each of these just to show how you work this stuff out. Um, we would basically need to think about how many of these tiles do we want. So in this case we want four proxies so you can see these proxies are determined by these yellow lines which is a value that you can control with this top setting here this fader well partition grid size um, I'm opting for this amount of proxies so I want one two three four proxies per region four by four but as far as this setting is concerned, it's the amount of components per landscape world partition region. Um, so each component is actually broken up into two by two. So there are two components per tile, per proxy. So this would actually, in fact, be eight instead of four. So we've got four proxies, which is made up of eight tiles, uh, eight components, sorry, across. So this number would have to be dropped down to an 8. Now this in theory should give us our four regions covering this map. So if I hit create we should in theory get our 2k landscape with four regions and we can see we have our four regions, one, two, three, four, and we have our proxies in there. And if we was to uh, select these regions and then load selected regions, we get our landscape looking how it should. In order to then get our height map to actually work, we would need to go back into Manage, Import, and then choose height map file. Tick this little box here. We can then look for our files, which I'm going to go off onto the side purely because I've got um, commercial projects that I can't show. And I'm just looking for my height map files. Okay, there it is. And um, say no if it's asking you to do tiled image and that looks pretty decent to me and obviously I have no height value in this so that's probably why this is looking a bit strange I'm just going to hit import and you can see we now have our height map in there so obviously I didn't calculate the height um, 
I didn't do any of those numbers, but if I was to just change the scale of this to like something like 300, we'll get more, uh, more there. So I'm just going to add some lighting to the scene. That is basically it. We have our height map, our 2K height map, and some lighting. So this will be in the project, of course, and this file will be available in the location I add to the description below. Hopefully that helps. And see you for the next one, which will be the 4K resolution height map. Please also remember that if you want to talk with me directly, you can jump into the Tecastus public server, which will be linked in the description. Uh, and also, if you could please jump over and follow the Tecastus Studios YouTube channel, that would also be uh, greatly appreciated so that you can keep up to date with the other project. I'll be going deep into pretty soon and I'm sure you'll love it.